Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the... Around 13.8 billion years in the past, a singularity in extremely dense and gravitationally intense entity emerged, rapidly expanding and cooling, leading to the formation of our universe. This occurrence is commonly referred to as the Big Bang. However, pondering such matters doesn't provide solutions, but instead sparks further inquiries. What existed before the Big Bang? Does a before even exist in the universe, where time originated from this initial explosion? Are we part of an unending cycle of cosmic demise and renewal? The most prominent intellects in our species have put forth theories, each as perplexing as the next. Some propose the existence of other universes, while others suggest a universe that undergoes a continuous cycle of expansion, collapse, and renewal. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku recently shared a startling revelation about events preceding the Big Bang. Let's attempt to comprehend what transpired prior to the inception of time itself. Picture a universe that expands from a single point, growing over billions of years and then contracting, pulling in all matter and energy. This captures the core idea of the oscillating universe theory. According to this model, our universe is just one phase in an ongoing cycle of expansion and contraction, an enduring cosmic dance with no distinct starting or ending point. Each cycle kicks off with the Big Bang, a moment of explosive creation followed by an extended period of expansion. Over immense spans, this expansion gradually decelerates, halts, and eventually reverses, leading to the eventual contraction of the universe and culminating in the Big Crunch. During the Big Bang, galaxies collide, stars compress, and all matter and energy condense into a singular point of infinite density, resembling the singularity from which the Big Bang originated. Yet, this isn't a conclusion. It's the inception of another cycle. A singularity erupts with another Big Bang, initiating the subsequent phase of the universe. In this model, each universe's lifespan could span billions or even trillions of years, and each Big Bang sets the stage for the succeeding one. It's an intriguing concept, resembling a cosmic pendulum oscillating between expansion and contraction, shaping and reshaping universes along its trajectory. However, the idea of an oscillating universe faces challenges and criticisms. Many aspects related to the universe's expansion, its precise energy makeup, and gravity's behavior on such scales remain incompletely understood. Data derived from the cosmic microwave background suggests a continuous acceleration of expansion, potentially eliminating the prospect of future contraction. Scientific understanding is dynamic, and theories, once dismissed, may gain renewed relevance with fresh discoveries. As we delve into the realms of space and time, we've long perceived our universe as distinct a solitary bubble of reality amid an infinite expanse of emptiness. But what if our existence isn't solitary? What if our universe is just one among an unimaginable multitude of others, each with its unique laws of physics, distinct history, and individual inception and conclusion? This forms the basis of the multiverse theory. Picture an immense cosmic expanse where numerous bubbles emerge and vanish. Each bubble signifies an independent universe, and our universe is just one of many within this expansive cosmic array. Some universes might differ, featuring distinct physical constants or even additional dimensions, while others could closely resemble ours, potentially harboring life. What if certain universes existed before ours? Could our Big Bang have resulted from an interaction with another universe? The multiverse idea challenges our comprehension of our cosmic position. However, it remains a speculative and contentious theory. If these alternate universes are beyond our reach, how can we observe or study them? Can a theory lacking testability be deemed scientific? Nonetheless, the multiverse theory continues to engage physicists in ongoing research and debates. It stands at the frontier of our comprehension, where science intersects with philosophy and empirical facts yield profound inquiries about the very nature of reality. Despite the purported multitude of universes with diverse physical forces and dimensions, let's return to the realities of our own. Our grasp of the universe relies on two fundamental aspects of modern physics, quantum mechanics, which delineates the realm of the atomic and subatomic, and general relativity, which characterizes the vast dimensions of the cosmos. However, what unfolds when these two realms collide? As per Einstein's general theory of relativity, space and time are intricately woven into four-dimensional fabrics referred to as space-time. Sizable objects distort this fabric, giving rise to what we perceive as gravity. 
Conversely, quantum mechanics unveils a world where particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, challenging our everyday logic with their appearing and disappearing acts. The convergence of these two theories occurs at the singularity of the Big Bang and within the core of black holes, where the scales of quantum mechanics and gravity intersect. Scientists have long pursued a theory of quantum gravity to reconcile these conflicting perspectives. One intriguing notion arising from this quest is the no-boundary proposal advocated by physicists Stephen Hawking and James Hartle. According to this theory, the universe didn't originate from a singularity. Instead, space and time have limits, but extend infinitely, akin to the surface of the Earth. Just as one can traverse the Earth without reaching an edge, navigating the universe wouldn't encounter a boundary. The universe is envisioned as a four-dimensional sphere, and the Big Bang is conceptualized as a smooth point, akin to Earth's North Pole, but not a singularity. In this model, questioning what occurred before the Big Bang becomes as meaningless as asking what's north of the North Pole. This approach offers a way to circumvent the singularity challenge at the universe's inception. Like other theories discussed, the no-boundary proposal is not immune to criticism and remains a topic of ongoing research. Nevertheless, it presents an intriguing effort to reconcile the realms of the incredibly large and incredibly small, pushing the limits of our comprehension of the universe's origin. Now, delving into the realm of string theory, a theoretical framework, where the fundamental constituents of the universe aren't particles, but one-dimensional entities known as strings. Each string can vibrate at various frequencies, giving rise to diverse particles such as electrons, quarks, and photons akin to streams resonating on different notes. Yet, string theory goes beyond predicting the existence of more than the three spatial dimensions we are familiar with. These additional dimensions might be condensed or concealed from our perception, but significantly influence the structure of reality. Regarding our subject, a version of string theory, the pre-Big Bang scenario, also known as the ekpyrotic model, proposes that our universe might have originated from the cataclysmic collision of two multiverse worlds or brains. Following such a collision, the two brains rebound and separate, only to be drawn together gravitationally and collide once more billions of years later, potentially giving rise to another universe. So, what existed before the Big Bang? In this model, it could have been another universe resembling ours, coexisting on a brain parallel to ours. However, string theory itself, despite its elegance and ability to merge quantum mechanics and gravity, lacks empirical evidence. As we're aware, verifying such concepts is exceptionally challenging. But what if we adopt an alternative perspective? Instead of seeking a universe preceding ours, what if we reassess the very concept of nothingness? When considering a vacuum, we often envision absolute emptiness. However, in the realm of quantum mechanics, the vacuum is anything but vacant. It's a dynamic mix of particles and antiparticles that spontaneously emerge and subsequently annihilate each other. This phenomenon is termed vacuum fluctuations. The vacuum fluctuation model, also referred to as the quantum fluctuation model, proposes that our universe might have originated from one of these fluctuations. A small bubble of false vacuum could have expanded into the universe due to quantum mechanics principles. This bubble, triggered by phase transition or quantum tunneling, would rapidly expand, with its boundaries pushed outward by negative pressure within. The energy from the false vacuum could transform into matter, leading to the formation of stars, galaxies, and, eventually, life. So, what existed before the Big Bang? According to the vacuum fluctuation model, it could have been a quantum vacuum, a collection of transient particles and antiparticles. Our universe might have been just one chance bubble that grew into something more significant. While the vacuum fluctuation model poses intriguing possibilities, it also presents challenging questions. For instance, why did a specific bubble expand while others didn't? And how do we reconcile the concept of an eternal quantum vacuum with the observable age of our universe? However, as we explore deeper into the realm of quantum physics, we encounter more fascinating prospects. One such avenue involves the fusion of quantum mechanics with cosmology, introducing us to the Big Bounce Theory. Envision a universe that undergoes cycles of expansion, contraction, and elastic rebound that's the fundamental premise of the Big Bounce Theory. Instead of a singularity where the laws of physics break down, this theory suggests that our universe might have originated from the remnants of a previous contracting universe. In this framework, the universe doesn't collapse into a singularity. Instead, due to quantum effects, it reverts to a very compact size and initiates another phase of expansion, 
giving rise to what we now recognize as the Big Bang. This theory, similar to the oscillating universe concept, proposes a universe without a definitive beginning or end, instead suggesting an endless cycle of expansion, contraction, and rebirth. This approach avoids the singularities present in other models. In contrast to the oscillating universe theory, the Big Bounce theory focuses specifically on the transition point, the bounce between contraction and expansion. So, how does quantum mechanics play into this? Quantum effects are believed to have a significant impact on the very small scales where the rebound takes place. According to quantum mechanics, particles can tunnel through barriers even without classical energy. Some theories propose that the universe could utilize a similar quantum tunneling effect to transition from a contracting to an expanding state. However, this theory is speculative and encounters substantial theoretical and observational challenges. Can we uncover evidence for a prior contraction phase in our current universe? Is it possible to formulate a quantum theory of gravity that can address these extreme conditions? Nevertheless, the Big Bounce theory is not without its shortcomings. The ongoing exploration of the physics behind the potential return to normalcy for a contracting universe is a current area of investigation. Grasping how this process might unfold without violating established physical laws stands as the primary challenge for this theory. The Big Bounce concept doesn't neatly align with our conventional understanding of time and causality. However, in the realm of science, alternative theories vie for consideration. One hypothesis suggests that our universe might have originated from a cosmic entity we've encountered but barely comprehend a mysterious, all-encompassing, and possibly creative force, such as a black hole. Black holes, enigmatic cosmic behemoths born from the collapse of massive stars, represent regions where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. According to the general theory of relativity, the core of a black hole is a singularity, a point where density becomes infinite and the curvature of space-time reaches an extreme level. Consider this perspective. What if these cosmic entities aren't the conclusion, but rather the inception? Some physicists postulate that singularities within black holes could give rise to the birth of new expanding universes. Consequently, our universe might be the interior of a black hole belonging to another parent universe. In this model, the inception of the Big Bang aligns with the formation of a black hole singularity in the parent universe, and our universe's expansion corresponds to the internal growth of this black hole. So, what existed before the Big Bang? It might be the interior of a black hole in another universe, suggesting that every black hole in our universe could potentially give rise to a new universe within itself. Certainly, this notion, like others we've explored, is a hypothesis and not without challenges. How can we experimentally assess this theory? Is it feasible to observe the influences of the parent universe? And how does this fit into our existing understanding of black holes and singularities? Loop quantum gravity, or LQG, serves as a theoretical framework aiming to harmonize quantum mechanics and general relativity, the two prominent realms of 20th century physics, encompassing the very small and the very large, respectively. Loop quantum gravity suggests that space is not continuous, but is composed of tiny discrete loops, minuscule indivisible loops, akin to threads woven into a piece of fabric. When applied to cosmology, specifically loop quantum cosmology, it presents a rebound scenario reminiscent of the significant cycles discussed earlier. Loop quantum cosmology offers a detailed quantum mechanical depiction of the universe's evolution, encompassing the big bounce scenario. Instead of collapsing into a singularity, as predicted by traditional big bang theory and general relativity, the universe contracts to a minimal size. Quantum gravitational effects become notable, counteracting the contraction, leading to a bounce back and initiating a new phase of expansion. This implies that our universe might have experienced a series of expansions and contractions, each initiated by a quantum jump. So, what existed before the Big Bang? According to loop quantum cosmology, it might have been another phase of the universe, the contraction phase preceding the quantum jump. In loop quantum cosmology, the concept of a quantum bridge is intriguing. This bridge signifies a transitional stage linking our universe to its predecessor. Instead of a singularity, the universe undergoes a quantum leap, transitioning from contraction to expansion. This shift, this change from contraction to expansion, can be viewed as a quantum bridge from the old universe to the new one. This quantum bridge isn't a physical structure in the traditional sense, but rather a phase in the universe's evolution governed by quantum gravity. What lies beyond the Big Bang? According to loop quantum cosmology, 
the previous universe is linked to ours through a quantum bridge. While this theory eliminates the singularity at the Big Bang and provides a straightforward quantum description of the universe's evolution, it still encounters significant challenges. Nonetheless, if it holds true, it paints a fascinating picture of a universe with no definitive beginning or end, undergoing endless cycles of contraction, leaps, and expansion. While these theories present interesting possibilities, they largely remain in the realm of speculation. Each has its strengths and weaknesses, lacking conclusive experimental evidence. As we approach unraveling what occurred before the Big Bang, it's anticipated that each answer will raise additional questions. Yet, the essence of science lies in the ongoing process of exploration and discovery. Researchers globally dedicate themselves to studying and refining these theories, contributing to the advancement of the overall understanding. The question of what transpired before the Big Bang remains uncertain at this point, but the pursuit itself enhances our comprehension and motivates us to persist in our exploration. We would love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.